Sí, ya está grabando. Ah, el teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We are talking about the platform. It's it's not working again. I don't know what happened. Mine. Uh, I'm in in the last part, final mm -hmm. exam. Yes. And and a ver, a ver si puedo mostrarle. No me permite darle siguiente. O sea, ya te I answer. Ya le di enviar. Mm -hmm. Y no me da la opción de darle siguiente. You see? Yes. Entonces, maybe yeah, aquí estoy. that frequently okay. happens. Ya le di refresh and, and nothing happened. Let's okay. wait for today and tomorrow. Maybe there's a mistake right now in the platform. Okay. Okay. So how was your day today, class? Good. <laughs> Everything good. What did you do? <laughs> work and work and work. <laughs> work, work, and work. And work. I know you in esta plataforma pasado toda la tarde. Oh man. It's true. <laughs> Let me see one thing here. I'm checking if there's some mistake in the platform. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. How are you? Hold on, let me check. I'm, I'm checking it. Si estoy viendo si hay algún problema con el, with the platform. Dun, 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 Okay, let me see. Let me open this, let's do this behind the scenes. What's wrong with the platform? Okay. Let's open this. My platform's not opening. Okay, there you go. So remember yesterday we used active and passive, right? We were practicing active and passive waves of speaking. Do you remember? Yes, it Remember, active and passive is the same thing. It's just who do you want to make important, the subject or the object? If you want to make the subject important, we start with 
I'm sorry, we're speaking active, correct? If we want to make the object important, we're speaking passive. Do you want to see something cool? Look. <laughs> wow, the eyes, they look at night. It's cool. It's, it's a lamp. It's a lamp for a laptop. Ah. Uh, so cute. Yeah, it's cool, but it's a it's a devil. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Katrina. Um when I was a little boy, um, I have Mexican family. And um, Mexicans they take the tradition November 2 very, very serious. El Día de los Muertos. It's a very, very big tradition in Mexico. And um, that's my birthday. So I remember in my birthday, siempre eran calaveras. <laughs> so that's why I like, uh -huh, I like this. In Mexico okay. is November 2? Yes. It's November 2, the... Um, the day of the dead. All right, let's continue. I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me if you can't hear. Do, 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 do. One, two, three. So in this lesson, we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then and after to help you out. Okay, so did you understand this? This is when we speak passive, but the subject is not important. Let me, let me give you an example. Pupusas are made in El Salvador. Is this subject or object? I'm sorry, is this active or passive? Class, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, can you please I, repeat the, okay. the pupusas? Pu pupusas are made in El Salvador. Is that an active or sentence or passive sentence? It's active. It's active. Did I start with the subject or with the object? Subject. So it's act is passive. I started with with the object first. Okay. Let me let me explain. P 
people make pupusas in El Salvador, correct? Yes. Yes. Is that active or passive? It's active. active. It's active. What is the subject? People. People. Okay, good. What is the object? Pupusas. Make pupusas. Okay, good. So what this is saying that sometimes when we speak passive, the subject is not important. Sometimes. Like in this case, pupusas are made in El Salvador by people. But I keep almost ignorant by people because it's obvious. And we just say pupusas are made in El Salvador. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, um, let me get Yes, the, the object is the more important part. Yes, and I, actually the subject is not important. Okay. I mean, it is important, but it's not necessary to say because logic, common sense, it would say mm -hmm. like pupusas are made in El Salvador, obviously by Salvadoreños, right? By Salvador mm -hmm. or by people or, mm -hmm. okay. Um, where do you work? Oh, I work in, Indiana, oh really? And what's Diana? Oh, it's where candies are made. Diana is where candies are made. Is that active or passive? Active. It's active? What is the subject? For me, Diana. The subject is I. I never said I. I said Diana is where candies are made. <laughs> Okay, so lo voy a terminar entonces. Diana is where candies are made by people. Yeah. Active. It's active. It's active. Yeah. What is this? Who's, I'm sorry. Whoever's watching TV, can you please lower the volume? Because it's, I, I don't know who it is. I think I am. My husband. Oh. Well, thanks. You, you, no, no, it's okay. You can hear it. Thank you. Okay, so listen. Diana is where candies are made by people. Pero soy bien, bien claro decir. Diana es donde son hechos los dulces por gente. Uh -huh. So that's why, that's why sometimes the subject is not important. So do you understand? Diana is where candies are made by people. By Quitemos uh, people. So um, Diana is where candies are made. Do you understand? Um, okay, no. let's continue. Okay, thank you. Tell me because I have, I don't know. I mean, no sé si me pueden oír or because nobody's talking. Okay, David Hernandez. Si no entendemos que es activo y pasivo, you will not understand this. What is an active sentence, David? Active sentence is when uh, well, we one, put thing, the one, one thing, one you thing, you, you need two things. What do you need? Subject and object. Subject and object. Uh -huh. And in a passive sentence, you need a subject and object too. Uh -huh. So what is the difference between an active voice and a passive voice? The importance. Yeah, but grammatically, what is the difference? The object is the first. Order. In what? In passive. In passive. And in subject? Obviously, it's the... Go, goes late. Okay, the okay. The first and the, and the subject okay. is... Yes, okay, let's do one thing. Grammatically, gra a, a, gra a grammatical definition, what is a subject sentence? Uh, what is an active sentence? 
what goes first? Subject. Subject. The subject. And we leave the object at last. And in a passive sentence? The object is first. Object is first and subject is last. That's the grammatical explanation. What is the uh, logical explanation? What is the difference? <laughs> David oh, said What is the difference is the importance. ¿Por qué vamos a hablar activo? ¿Por qué vamos a hablar pasivo? Why? Si es lo mismo. Is who you want to make important. If you don't understand that, you will not understand active and passive, ni en español. I understand the rule, but the, the, the last one, example. Okay, let me give you an example. Hagámoslo en español. Las butifarras son hechas en cojute. Is that active or passive? Active, because the subject is the butifarras. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? No. ¿Qué hacen las butifarras? ¿Qué hacen? Ah, oh, okay, okay. I got <laughs> Good. It. I yes. Got it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entonces las butifarras no son el sujeto. ¿Qué son las butifarras? Mm -hmm. Objects. They are the object, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Butifarra, la, hey, ¿qué son they las receive the action. They receive the action. Uh -huh. By who? By people. By people, obviously. Uh -huh. Very good, David. There you go. Uh -huh. I got it. Okay, good. You. Good. You see, and that's why, that's why, David, sometimes in passive, sometimes the subject is not important. Sometimes. Yeah. Igual en español, así se hey, las butifarras son hechas en cojute. In these cases, in these cases, the, the subject is implicit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Or, okay. Yeah, but you can say, butifarras are made in cojute peque by people. It's up, uh -huh. But uh -huh. sometimes you can omit the subject because it's logical. Okay, got it. Thank you. All right, cool. Do you understand, Sonia? Yes. Okay, um, I'm going to give you an example and you tell me, you give me the um, passive. Pupusas with mayonnaise curtido. Sonia? Yes, this is an active. No, no, you give me you give me the passive sentence. Okay. O and omit omit the subject. Uh, pupusas are made in San Miguel with mayonnaise curtido. Excellent, excellent, very good. Or pupusas are eaten uh, in San Miguel too. No, but excellent, that was good. There you go. You omitted the subject. Okay. But why, why do you omit the subject? Because it's logical. That isn't in, in um... okay, let me see. Nuri. Yes, thank you. Hi, Nuri, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. All right. In El Salvador, a semita. Is. Uh, the tradition.
When you think of some meat, like like a las de la tarde, oh man, I want coffee. Mm. What is the tradition? Mm. Maybe we used to eat semita. Okay. Okay, semita is eaten with coffee, no? Pero usted dijo we, o sea, eso es lo que no quiero, es correct, yes, we, pero queremos no usar el we. No usar el we. Yeah, because don't say the subject. The semita and coffee is a tradition in El Salvador. Yeah, the semita is eaten with coffee in El Salvador, the tradition. Okay, um, for example, oh, dun, dun. let me see, what is another, another Salvadorian tradition? Oh, okay. How do you eat chuco, Francisco Santos? How is chuco eaten in El Salvador? Uh, well, I, ju I just uh, take uh, Okay, take please don't tell me, don't tell me how you eat it. Okay, don't say the subject. Tell me about the tradition. Let's think about general in El Salvador. Uh, how do people eat chuco? With, with bread, with beans. Okay, good. So chuco, ch chuco is eaten with bread. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Because you, you can say, I eat chuco with bread. And that's good. That's an active sentence. But if you want to say passive, chuco is eaten with bread. Chuco is eaten with bread in hot sauce. All right, and oh yeah, and hot sauce, and you dip. Not yet. As you say, you dip. De ahí viene la palabra deep. They compran deep because you dip. Hey, imagine, imagine, say I'm Mexican, y en El Salvador. La pupusa a qué hora se come? O en qué tiempo? So it's eaten on, 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 in breakfast and dinner. Okay. Or you get, yeah. Or pupusas are eaten anytime. <laughs> ya está de moda for lunch too. But ahí está, pupusas are eaten at any time in El Salvador. Okay, let's go to the next. So, so that is the lesson. So sometimes, like I told you, uh, sometimes the passive is not important. I'm sorry, sometimes in a passive sentence, the subject is not important or is irrelevant. Porque se oye claro decir, en El Salvador las pupusas son comida a cualquier hora por los salvadoreños. Yeah, it's correct. Porque si en El Salvador las pupusas se come a cualquier hora. Porque es obvio, by people. Okay, knowledge check, let's do this. To complete the script, it has to... Okay, it says instructions. The sentence below describe how a movie is made. Complete the sentences using the passive. No capital letters needed, no periods needed. To complete the script, it has to... be divided. 
in two scenes. To complete the script, it has to be divided. Be divided. The filming details need to be written out. Be written. Saben que vamos a hacer esto. Ahora, fíjense que, miren, les voy a ser sincero, si les costó esto, no los culpo porque para mí no fue el mejor tema hablando de películas. <ríe> ya yes. pudo haber sido algo más simple, por ejemplo, algo general en El Salvador. Ya yes. El pan francés es comido en la cena o en el almuerzo. Cena. Breakfast. Breakfast and dinner. Yeah, so I can say that. Okay, so in El Salvador, um, bread is eaten mostly in breakfast or dinner. Mostly, dije mostly, la mayor parte. And tortillas are eaten in lunch. So I have the answers here, look. The filming details need to be written out. First, an outline of the script has to <laughs> yeah, no, de verdad no creo que fue el mejor tema para practicar el, el pasivo. Next, actors. You are, you are grown teacher. Huh? You paste the another one. And the number three. Oh, yes, it's true. Thank you. Actors okay. are chosen. Next, actors are chosen. Locations are picked. Yeah, I'm a pretty good. Okay, hold on. Number six, filming can then begin. Are designed. Are designed. Next, next, let's do is expanded. Quiero terminar esto porque vamos a hacerlo de experiencia propia de ustedes. It's completed. Esto ya lo hicieron todos, me imagino, right? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Listen, we know that Kalena is a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes? Kalena, you're a teacher for little mm -hmm. kids, correct? Yes. Correct. What is the protocol of COVID for kids in your school? First of all, when, when they, they came. When they come? They come, sorry. Uh, they have to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. And they sit just three for each table. Okay, so okay, so they are sat. Son sentados. Uh -huh. There I. They are sat three per table. Three per table. Uh, they they, they uh, are sanitized. No. Yes, they they are not allowed to eat at the same time. They have to go out the class to to eat by. Okay. By times. Okay, good, thank you. So listen to this. So they are sat, son sentados, three mm -hmm. per table. Yes. This is a perfect example. ¿Quién lo sienta? The teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's obviously somebody from school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why in this case, it's not important quien lo sienta. It's more important que son sentados, yes. Son sanitizados, right? They are sanitized. Imagino que en el portón los... Yes? Solamente... Las cosas se, se, se... A los niños como tal no se les pone nada, sino que... Oh, okay. Al, oh. al, 
a los muebles y a las cosas. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Based but just the hands. The just hands. the hands. Okay. Okay, but that, that's that's how it works. Mm -hmm. They are sanitized. They are separated. They are divided. They are, but you, you, usted nunca dijo, we set them. We mm -hmm. separate them. We, mm -hmm. you didn't. No lo dijo así. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Because mm -hmm. como esto es, a veces no es necesario decir el sujeto. Um, les iba a decir que me puede dar el proceso de <ríe> cómo se hace la, la carne de vaca, pero es muy triste. La carne de hamburguesa. Oh, las vacas son llevadas al matadero. Mm. Las. <ríe> muy feo. Mm. No, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Nuri, where do you work? I work in a beauty salon. Hey, yes, in a beauty salon in um, Lourdes, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do you do wax? It's for women, yes. right? Yes. Wax. So before the wax, their face is cleaned. I imagine, I am procedimiento antes del wax in la cara, right? Yeah. What is the procedure? Uh, uh, first, mm, clean, clean the face or the okay, stone. Okay, first, their face is cleaned. Su uh, cara es limpiada, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then I put a powder, a little powder mm -hmm. in the sun. And then, uh, then the what? Okay. And, 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 and then, despegar, separar, separate. Yes. Uh, I then peel, pelar, que no es peel. Um, something like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Good. Uh, do, do, do. Jose Chicas, are you there? Alexandra, are you there? Yes. Hi, Alexandra. Hi. Where do you work? Uh, I work as a customer service in an um, in industrial company. Oh, yes, <clears throat> I remember. So, okay. So calls are taken? It's not, it's not like a call center. It's more than... It's physical. Um, uh -huh. uh, we make labels uh, for, um, I don't know how to say maquilas in English. Textile companies. Uh, text, uh -huh. So we, made, we make uh, labels for textile companies. Um, it's like the labels of the shirt? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. What is the name of your company? Braincraft. Print craft. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver. David, what is print craft? I don't know. Is where is where labels are made. Oh, okay. For textile companies. Yes. Do you understand? What, what, print craft, right, Alexandra? Yes. So, David, what is print craft? Is where the uh, tags are made. Labels. Ah, uh, labels. Uh -huh. He also made tags. He's, okay, he's, okay. Yeah, he's tags. correct. <laughs> tags are made for what? Uh, for the shirts. For um, textile companies. Oh, uh, okay. Very good. Entonces, es un perfecto ejemplo. A.K. Hey, spring tags. Oh, you don't know. Donde son hechas las, las viñetas. Ah, good. Or you can say that is where people make tags for textile companies. Um, Francisco Santos, are you there? 
Yes, as always. As always. All right, <laughs> cool, nice. Let me see a, a big company in El Salvador. Capri. Yeah. What is Capri? Mm. Capri. Mm. Uh, beds uh, are created by Capri. No, ma más corto y más simple. What is Capri? A company who made bed. It's a company where beds are made. Or Capri is where beds are made. Okay, people, we're not going to talk today. Let's continue then. This is a very interesting topic and um, actives and passives. Okay, let's listen to a quiz show. Do you know what is a quiz show? Yes. Yes. All right. Is this a listening or reading? Listen to a quiz show. Can you yeah. guess the occupation? It's listen. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. So let's 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 try to see. There's a casting director, a location scout, a screenwriter, um, dialect coach, prop designer, script doc. So let's see which ones. Page ninety-five, exercise nine, perspectives, quiz show, part A. Listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One, a blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank, who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank, is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. Nuri, what is a nurse? A nurse is a person who works in a hospital. Okay, that's it. But okay, no, I understand that. But remember, in a hospital, you have contado, count, accountants, you have. Um, you don't only have doctors, so you have a, 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 a hospital, a business, but what is a nurse? Yes, a nurse works in a hospital and? Okay, does anybody know what a nurse is? A nurse is someone to attend the patients. Okay, the yes. A nurse attends the patients or cures the patients. 
Yes, or a nurse. Yes, okay, good. No, but that was good too, Nuri. A nurse works in a hospital, but remember, si alguien realmente no sabe que es un nurse, it works in a hospital. Muchas, un hospital tiene muchas profesiones, tiene contadores, tiene auxiliares, tiene administradores, y obviamente doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. Tiene conserjes, tiene... Another, another definition. Yes, uh -huh. so like maybe more specific. Oh, so a nurse, is... yes. Mm -hmm. A nurse is the person who assists you first, maybe in the hospital. Okay, or a nurse is always in white example. Let me see, do, 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 do. Sonia. Yes. How are you, Sonia? I'm good, and you? I'm okay. Sonia, imagine I am from Brazil, okay? Sonia, what is a marero? The person is gangster. Good, a marero is a gangster in El Salvador. Yes. Please repeat, yeah, come on, help me. The gangster? No solo yes, no. Yes, that's very basic. Okay, let's continue class. Let's continue. Do, 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 do. We, we didn't fill out the... Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, but no lo han hecho ustedes aparte. Uh, el, yes. No. Oh, okay. okay. Es que le, le quería algo similar, pero no con... Es que le voy a ser sincero. Eh, no, no me gusta mucho el tema de películas para aprender esto, ¿me entiendes? Entonces, prefiero mejor usarlo algo más como, como lo que intenté hacer ahorita, pero no, no estamos. Les quería preguntar, what is a doctor? What is a teacher? What is a policeman? You know, pero. Entonces, but let's do this. Let's do this. Entonces, let's do it. So. So what do you think? Number one, who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes? Location scout. A location scout. Do you know what a scout is? Um, for me, it's... Do you know Cienfuegos, Mauricio Cienfuegos? Yes. ¿Sabes qué hace el hoy? Uh, he's finding talents. He is a, he's a talent scout. Uh -huh. cool. He is a, he's a talent scout. Okay, so a location scout is someone who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes and gets to travel all over the world. Porque eso ya vieron la película Fargo. Fargo. Fargo, it's good. Véanla, es, es, es en vida real que fue, fue vida real cuando, ¿quién fue? Irak, no. ¿Irán? Es a war. Yes and no, it's when Iran tuvieron problemas con Estados Unidos y cerraron el país y, y la gente que estaba en, en la embajada quedó como no podían salir del país y eran oh, allí. Fargo dijo. No, Argo era. Argo. Es con, es con Ben Affleck. Uh -huh. But it's a good movie. La cosa es que Estados Unidos hoy era, era enemigo de Irán. Pero los que se habían quedado ahí adentro no podían ya salir del país. Y Estados Unidos no hallaba cómo sacar a su gente de la embajada. So, this is good recently, ¿no? Yeah, maybe five years. Entonces, is, usaron un location scout de Hollywood para ir a filmar en Irán porque, oh, it has beautiful scenery. No sé. Y inventaron que iban a hacer una película ahí y así lo sacaron. It's a good movie, man. Y it's, it's real life. Okay, what is a screenwriter? 
screenwriter. He is who makes the 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 key on. I don't know. But what number is it here? Oh. He's someone who developed or in a span a story idea. Yes, the screenwriter. The, the screenwriter is like, hey, agreguémosle un hermano a ese. Now, now, now Ben Affleck has a sister. Hey, y qué tal si se enamora él de una chica? You know, so you're expanding. That's the screenwriter, mm -hmm, the uh -huh. idea. What is a dialect coach? It's a language specialist who works with um, with actors on their accents. Yes. I think I think dialect coaches in Spanish are very very bad. Why? Haven't you noticed? Have you ever watched a movie in Spanish? Like. No, it's a Hollywood movie, but maybe it's based in Mexico and all the actors are Latin and they can't speak Spanish. Pero mamá, ¿por qué dices tú eso? It's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, for example, I was watching um, Scarface. Cara Cortada? And remember Manny, el mejor amigo de él? Uh-huh. Él es cubano. Pero no podía hablar español. Uh -huh, yes. He can't He's not Spanish. a natural accent. Yeah, so, uh -huh. so I always said, oh my God, you know, <laughs> he's not very convincing. But, the, but the, the, the movie was developed in Miami, I think. In Miami. Maybe, maybe because it's the mixture of the accents. Yes. Uh -huh. hey, pero Tony Montana tenía el mejor acento. Hola, mamá. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on, mama. That's a very good movie. Okay, next, prop designer. Do you know what is a prop designer? Uh, no. Okay, a prop, I don't know the word in Spanish, but let's say like, sometimes you see a rock behind me, a big, big rock, and it's not real, it's a prop. Utileria, so maybe? Designer is used to, uh -huh. to Utileria. Uh, yes. special effect. I also hear visual heard that definition. Maybe. Excuse me? I also heard that definition for uh, the things that are made in weddings, like uh, props. Uh huh. Props. Yeah, anything, anything that, but it's not real and it pretends to be real or, no, but like, for example, depends, Alexandra, because un, un rosas y flores, that's an arrangement. Eso ya es un arreglo. No, 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 I'm, I'm not, but I'm not talking uh, about that. It's, uh, have you seen like, they do like, um, <laughs> carteles, <laughs> um, when, that says uh, she suggests or I'm taking the... the... Oh, those are props. Yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, my cousin, she got married in December, I think. <laughs> it was a very stupid wedding because her husband, his, her husband was Chinese. And he was a fanatic of Star Wars, but like a big fanatic. And the theme of the wedding in the hotel, it was Star Wars. So there were many props. I see many props, like everything. I took everything for my son. <laughs> Yeah, but it was like, oh man, this is boring. Only nerds. <laughs> there were only nerds in that wedding. Okay. Centro de Mesa is tradition to, the what? to pick up. The Centro de Mesa is a tradition. To oh, pick yeah. Up. oh, yeah. It was good. Mm -hmm. 
No, but I took all the props. I mean, even the cake was Darth Vader. <laughs> but it, it was a very expensive wedding, but... Um... Okay, so then props is that. Okay, sometimes what... what okay, like, have you ever been to um, to Universal Studios? Yes, Yes. You went to Universal Studios? No, no. I... I went. Did you go in the train? The ride? Oh, yes. Around the, around the, the Harry yeah. Potter stuff? Around there. Yes. Si uno se siente algo decepcionado una vez, como, oh, man. Because they say, hey, can you go home alone? Yay. Este es el vecindario. And you go like, and uh -huh. every, it's just cartón, man. Because behind mm -hmm. is nothing. You know, like, oh my God, can no give a him. No, but it's good. It's the magic of Hollywood. So that is props. Prop designs. Okay, and then we have a script doctor. You see, man, the script doctor. This is a vocabulary we will never use in our life. A script doctor is who is used when an original screenplay mm -hmm. needs more work, makes funnier dialogues and more realistic. That's a script doctor. Do you know what is... Uh, uh, or can you give me an example of a profession? Sorry, uh, can you repeat? You ask me a question. A professional uh, football player. No, what is, uh, for example, what is a... Uh, a person who constructs houses. No, no, but no, you have to tell me what is an architect. Uh, oh no, but an architect doesn't construct houses, right? Design. No. Design. Designs houses. Uh -huh. Who constructs houses? Engineer. Albanil. <laughs> yeah, maybe Albanil. Bricklayer. The engineer construct. Uh, está el ingeniero constructivista que hace. They made houses. Yeah. Yeah, I, th the I think maybe manage the, the the works. Yeah, I think the engineers make like the base, la base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like okay, it tiene que ser sobre... la estructura. Uh -huh, yeah, they evaluate it if possible. The evaluation and everything. El cálculo los. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. I, 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 you know, between a architect and engineer. They contract only one architect and one engineer. Vaya. Design a house. Boom, boom, boom. Vaya. Quiero 200 así. <laughs> and they are all the same. Um, I have a friend that lives in Soyapango or Ciudad Versailles. Something like that in Soyapango. Man, you go in and the houses are nice. But there's maybe 800 houses and they are all the same. They are all the same. You know, so like, it's a project. It's a project. Huh? That's why in the United States is you can be an architect and have money. <laughs> all right. Um, ask me another question. So what is an uh, what is uh, oh, ask me, ask me something. Teacher, what is an acrylist? That's a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> acrylist. Acrylist. Is that something related to beauty salon? Yes. Okay, I imagine. Really, I don't know. Can you tell us what is an acrylist? Okay. Uh, is a person who makes uh, uh, nails. On your own nails. 
Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. you see, and decorate something. and put polish nail and flowers and. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. Nice. You got me. <laughs> Alexandra, give me an example. Ask me. If I don't know, you tell me. Uh, an example for of my job. No, like an example, like what Nuri told me. Oh. Um, let's see. You weren't listening. You were watching <laughs> Netflix or watching no. your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I heard that she said uh, the acrylic. acrylic? What is the, what was the, the correct? Acrylic. Uh, acrylic. Yeah. The person who made the, the nails on their own nails. Um, um, I don't know. Okay, well, you know, you know, this is interesting because um, my wife, she's a dentist. And um, in El Salvador, well, I think our culture before I met my wife, mm -hmm. I didn't know what is a endodoncista, orthodoncista, maximofacial. Man, there's like five or six different categories of a dentist. For me, everything was a dentist. Mm -hmm. It's like a mechanic. <laughs> Enderezador, pintado, pintor, automotriz electricista, but we don't know. We just, ah, I need a mechanic. And um, now, now I kind of understand the difference. <laughs> you know, a maximo facial is my respects for that person. Do you know what is the maximo facial? I think maybe it's maxilo. Maxilo, maxilo. I'm, see, I'm sorry, I said uh -huh. maxilo. I'm sorry, maxilo facial. <laughs> Oops, do you know what they do? Yes, yeah, but they reconstruct your face. So like if you, ma maxillofacialis, they're like dentists and doctors too. Because imagine if you have like a terrible accident, boom, and you break your face, they will reconstruct everything. It's crazy, man. It's cool. Mm -hmm. So that's an example, you know, because I didn't know that. For me, everything, for me, the dentist did everything. The dentist operates, puts my brackets, takes, you know, before I met my wife. Now I know the difference. <clears throat> Do you know another interesting, interesting profession? What is a chef? A chef. The chef is, is like the boss or the man. Well, it depends. A chef is, is a person, it's a professional cook, correct? Cook. cook. But but chef is like a, prof, it's the professional name, correct? Yes. It's the boss in the kitchen. It's the boss in the kitchen. And mm -hmm. I think I think to say that you're the chef, but chef is professional, no? Yes, he's professional. Yeah, because everybody says el chef, el chef. <laughs> he's the chef. But yeah, but I think really, really, really the, the chef is, is the professional or the boss. The boss, okay. Jose or Francisco, do you know any? Uh, any... any other profession? Uh huh. Um, well. Do you know what the vice president does? Thank <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, me too. I don't know. <laughs> Do we have a vice? No, but have you noticed not not only this vice president, every vice president, they never. Maybe it's when the president can go to some place like they will make they substitute the president. Yeah. Okay, the vice president substitutes the or represents the president, I think. 
But for the mirror teams, like nine are opening a bridge or something like that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What is a psychiatrist? What is the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist? Psychiatrist is, is um, somebody who who attends person with uh, mental mental problems or trans trastornos. Sometimes. A psychologist too, no? Uh, and not necessarily because a, a psychologist can, can uh -huh. sorry go on a I, I, psychiatrist I, I, can can give you a prescribe uh-huh uh prescribe medicine and psycho uh, the other one don't no oh, okay yeah yeah, I think I think I think that's one of the big difference. A, a psychiatrist mm -hmm. can prescribe you medicine, mm -hmm. and um, a psychologist doesn't. But yes, of course, a psychiatrist is. If if you if you see a psychiatrist, you have problems, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like David said, it's 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 a medical problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue that. But uh, Asiera, what is a casting director? A casting director does this. What is a psychiatrist? A psychiatrist does this. What is um? What does a vice president do? A vice president represents the president. Mm -hmm. In a formal or. What does the president do? The president represents the leader of the country. The vice president represents the president when he can't be there. What does the first lady do? I don't know. <laughs> no, and not, not only the one here, in anywhere. I, I've never seen them. Only may, maybe only Eva Peron is the only... It's the only first lady that, that she actually did something. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a great day. Have okay. a great night. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.